morning chaps, welcome to what is now my final thoughts on this. Wickham's 1912 Vegetel Shaving Soap in Cashmere. Now, if you've watched my uh, initial thoughts video from last week, you'll know uh, what I think of it so that, at that point. Um, so the process for the remainder of the week was to try it with different soap, uh, so with different brushes, different razors, different blades, just to see what I find works best with it. Um, so I've tried three different, four different razors over the week. Uh, I've tried obviously the Mercury 39C, I've tried the Razor Rock Bazooka, the Gillette Tech, and a Shavette as well. Uh, with a variety of blades, we've had some Astra Superior Platinums, we've had Astra Superior Stainless, we've had Sharp Blades, and I believe we've had, even had a Feather in there somewhere. Um, Different brushes cover my Cadman 26mm silver tips, my Amiga 48 ball, and a couple of synthetics as well, which one of which is the Razor Rock Monster, and the other was the Body Shop Synthetic. Uh, so, out of the week, I've gone through that, tried them all out, see what I like best, also tried bowl and face lathering, see if I've got a preference, and today's video I'm going to incorporate my favourite bits of each, um, just to see what we get. So obviously we've got the wonderful 1912, Lovely stuff. Scent is divine. Um, so yes, we've got that. We have, pop this down there, the Mercure 39C slant bar razor, equipped with an Astra Superior stainless blade. Um, I think it's about three days old now, or there's been a third or fourth shave on it. Um, we are going to skip the bowl today completely, because we're going to face lather, with one of my there's a big clue there. Cadman 26mm silver tip knotted brushes. Wonderful brushes these are, particularly for face lathering. Um, and we'll go through why shortly. But what we're going to do, we're going to take this, the dampened brush. It's been soaking. I've just taken it out, giving it a bit of a shake and a gentle squeeze just so we've got minimal water. And we're just going to load into the brush. Now, it works wonderfully. Is a face lathering soap. Let's turn around so you can see me. I um, don't know if it's a good thing or not. Anyway, I digress. It's very, very quick to build a decent lather with 1912. At least that's what I found anyway. Um, be it face lathering or bowl lathering, it turns into a usable lather very, very quickly. Um, so that is a big plus point for me. Uh, some soaps I find you have to really, really work to get a quality, dense, bubble-free lather. Not with this. So that is a, a huge plus point for me. Um, scent develops even nicer on the face. You can, it goes through kind of an evolution um, as it kind of mellows slightly on the old boat race. So we've got a, a decent amount of soap now. I'm just going to work it a little bit longer. And, uh, and yeah, and plus, who doesn't like face lathering? A wonderful experience just to get a quality lather built on the old face. There we go. Ready to shave with. So, as you may know by now, my pre shave routine is a hot towel session, and, uh, and then we're pretty much ready to go. So, I've hot toweled already. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the brush, just a few drops, not a lot. I'm going to start building the old lather. So, Mm. As you can see, it builds very quickly into a quality dense lather. I've got about, well, it is technically a day's growth, but yesterday shave was shavette, so I didn't go as close. It's a little bit more than normal to remove today. Fantastic week. Mine has been incredibly busy at work. Uh, and nothing new there. Car has generally been alright. The Audi has uh, thrown me an emissions light, but we're going to throw some fuel system cleaner through it this weekend to see what happens. So let me see. Oodles and doodles of dense lather in the brush. Just build a little longer. Switch hands. And it's literally 
ready. It's dense. It smells divine. Gents, if you've not tried cashmere, you really need to. There we go. So, you know, you might be thinking I've got it a little thick, but I like it thick. Um, certainly for the 39C. Get rid of the old leather around the lips. But yeah, I prefer it slightly thicker with this with this razor for the extra cushion um, because it's quite in, in, in comparison to my uh, razor rock, it's quite aggressive. So I just leave a little extra thickness in there just to help combat the aggression. So just going to give it a little wetting. And so we're just going to perform a three pass shave with the grain, across the grain, against the grain, in the usual fashion, and we're going to find everything wonderful. Now with the 39C, lightness of touch is key. Absolutely no pressure required, literally just hold the razor onto the face and let it do its job, and it just takes away the whiskers effortlessly. No effort required. It's just the weight of the razor doing its thing and uh, providing a wonderful shave. So yeah, you can see thick lather on the razor head. Um, like I say, purposefully done that way to give me that little bit of extra cushion. And uh, that's one of the joys of experimenting with a new soap. You can find its niches and its nuances and find out just how it works best for you. And for me, with this razor, thicker is better. Again, no pressure. Just the weight of the razor head doing its work. Everyone's got that one patch of hair that grows entirely the opposite way of the rest. Mine is there. That's with the grain here. The rest of it goes that way. It happens. So like I say, thick, right, thick, thick lather in the razor head. Just a quick squeeze under the water. And we're ready to go for the second pass. So what I'm going to do, as normal, is just get the old flannel. Wipe off and see where we're at. Now that first pass was loaded with glide, absolutely stacks of glide, as you would expect, or certainly as I've come to expect from this razor, uh, with this razor, this soap. Absolutely stacks of cushion, obviously it's a thicker lather, ready for that purpose, and yeah, it's just wonderful stuff. So we take the brush, and away we go for pass number two. Didn't take long to lather up for the second pass because the lather's already built. I'm ready to go, we're just applying basically. And the hard work has been done. And it's not even hard, it's easy. Such an easy soap to lather. And uh, that's always nice. So, pass number two. As best we can across the grain, I have a male. 
An email, wonder who from. Probably spam. Won't be work on this weekend because I'm not on call. Again, minimal, well, no pressure. Just the way to the razor. Gliding over the old skin. And the one thing I've found this week in particular with this soap so no clogging, just a quick swirl in the sink to get rid of the lather. Yeah, the one thing I have found is a wonderful post shave. It's very nice. And I often say to myself when I'm testing something new for the first time, doesn't matter what it is. It could be a new recipe, it could be a new car detailing product, it could be a shaving soap. I sit and think to myself, what would I change? And it could be quite a brutal question. Because sometimes I can sit and say, everything. I'll change everything. Sometimes there's one or two subtle little changes that I'd like to make. Um, sometimes there's none. Is there anything I would change about this? We'll, we'll cover that in a bit, shall we? A bit like who wants to be a millionaire. We'll leave you hanging till after the break. So as you can see, we've still got oodles and doodles of lather in the wonderful cabin brush. Thank you again, Merv, for doing such a fantastic job. We'll lather up for pass three. Here we go. And we still got stacks in there for at least another pass. Uh, and I didn't load it for that long, really. Uh, so, it's going to last a while. Always a good thing, or is it? If you want to try lots of different soaps, and, uh, and you find your pot's taking forever, buy it anyway. Buy another pot. Why stop? Anyway, third and final pass against the grain with the lovely Mercury 39C and this, the Wickham's 1912 Cashmere. So, as we all know, everyone's got their trouble spots, awkward bits, and this is traditionally the awkward bit for me, the against the grain pass around the Adam's apple down here. And it's partly because it's sensitive, partly because my hair grows any damn which way it wants. But, this week, even with the fearsome shaver, no problems. Not with this soap. It's ample glide that just allows the blade just to shimmy over the surface. A bit like Torval and Dean used to on the old ice, just effortless. Sometimes I've found soaps wanting a bit more in the glide department. But not so here. A bit like the old Goldilocks and the Three Bears and the bowls of porridge. 
one was too hot, one was too cold, one was just right. And this one is just right. It doesn't want any more glide, it doesn't need any more glide. It's got it just right. Just right, just on the mark. So that's one thing you know I don't need to change. Cushion. Well, we know that I can build the cushion to suit. I can build the lather thicker, slightly drier, if you will, if I want more cushion. That's what I've done here with this, this particular shave. And it works perfectly for me, so I don't need to change how, how the cushion is. We all know my opinion on the scent. The scent is wonderful. So, what would I change? Would I change anything? And the answer is no. No, I wouldn't change a thing. I like everything about it. So that's three passes complete. I'm going to wipe off for the third pass. Again, just to see what we're left with. Now, I had a haircut in the week, you may be able to tell. So the old sideburns, I may need to level up. We shall see. Take a bit off this side. It won't be a second, chaps. Give the old smear of the old uh, lover. Don't need a lot. Take the razor. Up, done. There we go. So we have <clears throat> had just another wonderful shave with the 1912 cashmere. Well, final thoughts. You can tell. No drama. It's a nice shave. It's a very nice shave. We'll start with the scent because. We all know that I love the scent. I could quite happily sit and huff in the pot all day. People would probably think I'm a bit nuts. But I wouldn't care because I have a wonderful smell go around me. And glide. Plenty of it. Absolutely plenty. Not, as I said a minute ago, not too much. Not lacking. It's just right. Sometimes it's a bit like an oil slick with some soaps. And... Sometimes that's preferable, especially when you can shave it, you want as much glide as possible just to stop the blade cutting in. Even here, we've got plenty for a shave out. I mean, this is what I use in the week. Is this one here. Um, with an Astra blade. So it's a, it's a, it's a fearsome beast. Um, and, 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 and this had no problems at all. Like I say, the razor glided nicely across the skin. Didn't cut myself, no digs, no nicks with the end of the blade anywhere, it was, it was spot on. Um, with a tech, again, glide for days, no issues there. And again, with the Razor Rock, and as you've just seen with the 39C, no issues. Um, the only difference I found with the lather that I made for cushion purposes was between, or well, the only one that was different was the 39C because of the aggression. Uh, I made that slightly thicker to cope with the aggression of the razor and give it a little bit more protection against it with the, with the Shavette Tech and the Razor Rock. I made a normal lather, sometimes made it slightly thinner just to see how it went. Um, and even when made thinner, it's still spot on, no problems at all. Um, it didn't affect the glide, didn't affect the post shave, didn't affect the shave in any way, shape or form. Um, so you can make your lather slightly wetter if you want to, um, to suit a razor if it clogs particularly heavy 
or if you just want a thinner lather just to see, you know, if you've got sort of fat, thicker facial hair you want to get around and you don't want to clog it up, thinner lather with this is absolutely fine. Post shave, now, if you've ever seen my Evergrowing spreadsheet of analysis of soaps and razor blades and all, all that jazz, I have a weighted system when I'm scoring a soap and one of the th three areas that acquire the heaviest weighting is glide, cushion and post shave. The post shave for me on this is absolutely spot on. Um, I, I, I don't feel the need for anything post shave at all. Um, not to say I haven't used anything. Um, sometimes I just like to apply the products that I use it in the post shave, be it a balm, um, be it a splash, whatever. But it doesn't need it and that's the key. I can sit, I mean I'm going to do it again today. I'm not going to put anything on after this shave and once my skin is properly dry, in fact it's almost dry, perfectly dry now, it's silky smooth, no problems whatsoever. It doesn't feel dry, doesn't feel like it needs moisture, doesn't feel irritated, there's no flakiness left on the skin, there's nothing, it's just absolutely spot on. So yeah, in terms of the actual shaves, brilliant. Wouldn't change a thing. Wouldn't change anything, in fact, you know I wouldn't change anything I've already said. Um, going on to things about the product that don't affect the shave, i.e. the part in the presentation, I really like it. Um, the styling on the fonts, Ooh, we're losing focus for some reason, don't know why. Anyway, we were, the styling on the fonts, the simple black and white presentation, even on the underside, it's simple, it's wonderful, it just, it doesn't make any bones, there's no flashy graphics to sort of try and tempt you in, it's not loaded with like a kaleidoscope colour, shaving soap is a simple product, it's great. It's a very simple, very classy design. The pot, it's a lovely wide pot and I like, like the fact that I can get a full 26mm knot right in there with acres of room to spare. I mean that's that's a big brush. Um, even the Monster, the 26mm synthetic, it's kind of dwarfed by the pot size, as is the 48 Again, beastly sized brush in a pot like that. It doesn't struggle. And that for me, it, it's just a little thing that adds to the overall experience. If you've got a tiny pot and a big brush, it's it's not always so nice to load it up for a face leather or indeed any leather. Um, but a good sized pot like this works. And it's a good sturdy pot. And it looks nice. We can't argue with that. So yeah. Gentlemen, I think I've covered off everything. Um, I think so. Have I covered everything? No, no. They're doing a company splash, which I shall be ordering this weekend or Monday. I haven't decided which yet. We'll see what happens uh, with the car um, later on if I actually have to call out the AA to come and rescue me. I don't know. But either way, I will be ordering the splashes and I will be on the strength of this soap ordering some others from Darren's range, um, Russian leather, it's going to be heading my way, absolutely, uh, the Club Cola, I think it's Palmer Violets as well, but it's, it's got to be tried, at the end of the day, the, the scent on this is wonderful, so I have no reason to doubt the others at all, I know the performance is going to be the same, because I'm pretty sure, in fact I'm 100% sure that the soap recipe is the same, just scented differently, so chaps, I've thoroughly enjoyed my week of 1912 cashmere. Um, if you've tried it, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on the soap. And uh, I have been me. This has been 1912. If you like the video, I'd very much appreciate your likes. And uh, if you really like the video and any other content that you've seen of mine and want to see more, give me a big old thumbs up and a subscription as well. And, uh, and you'll get some more quality shaving videos every week without fail. Unless, of course, I'm dying or in a hospital bed for another reason, or just the internet's broken, or someone pinches me camera, something like that. So thank you very much for watching again, chaps. I will see you again tomorrow for another video. Bye.